gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, George Doherty. Once upon a time, I had a hamster. <laughs> My hamster's name, I named him Jack Dawson. <laughs> now, if that name sounds familiar, it's with good reason, because he was the heroic character played by Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic. <laughs> so I had seen that movie in the theater seven times, was inspired enough to name my hamster after him. Um, so, you know, growing up, I had hamsters, hermit crabs, the usual childhood assortment of things. Um, but I was in my 20s when I suddenly had the desire there's to have a hamster. Now, what sparked this interest, I was listening to the radio when I heard this ad for hamster racing. <laughs> now, I had never, maybe some of you know it exists, I had never known hamster racing exists. I'm a very competitive guy, so I'm like, I gotta get a hamster. <laughs> um, so, Christmas was coming up, and I was still getting presents from my mother, and I asked for a hamster, and I got one. <laughs> so, I did some reading and found out that 24 wins is like the record for by one hamster. Most races won 24 wins. Okay, so I'm starting to set goals. Like we could beat that, right? Um, and the hamster's name was Ham Star. Uh, I did this. I mean, it's what pretentious, right? Yeah. So, um, so anyway, I'm doing some reading. I found out that the track is 30 feet long. Okay, so Jack's got to go down this length, and um, 30 feet's like what? Maybe from like the folks sitting right here, maybe to the, the back of this wall. Maybe I can ask like, what do y'all think is the world record, the world hamster record? Now let me explain hamster racing first. Actually, <laughs> you actually put the hamster in one of those one of those balls, the hamster ball that they normally run around, and that's hooked up to like a drag racing type of little thing. And he just goes down this track as fast as he or she can. <laughs> and there's a world record time. Maybe some of the folks down in front. What some guesses of like time? What that might be? Twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. Anybody else? A minute. A minute Thirty seconds. Okay. Um, the actual time is thirty-eight seconds. Okay. And I'm thinking we can beat that, right? Jack and I can beat 38 seconds. It's not that far. Okay. So I got this hamster, and I got, you know, the training mechanisms of the wheel and the cage, and, you know, you got your own hamster ball that he needs to run in. So all this is happening, right? And I suddenly start noticing that Jack just is, is starting to gain weight, like, noticeably. He's getting bigger, and he's on a diet, like, he's on a strict regiment diet, so I don't know where. This is happening. So some, some days go by, maybe a week, and he is like large. Now, nothing against large hamsters. Maybe you've had one, that's fine, but I wanted a race hamster. So I'm like wondering what's going on. I live with like five other people, so I'm like, are you guys like slipping in some Cheetos? Like, what's. Because they knew about my aspirations for this race. And I was friendly enough with everybody, but I didn't know what was happening. So I'm a little disturbed. And then, one day I get home, and I discover that there are six babies in the cage. And I'm thinking, what a relief, you know? My mom got me a pregnant hamster, which might sound like a burden, you have all these extra hamsters. But Jack had just, well, Jacqueline, actually, had just lost an enormous amount of weight. Okay? Like six babies worth. So I'm, I'm excited. We're back on track. Our goal is set. You know, we, we can do 30 feet in under 38 seconds. So we get back to like all that. And then um, a few more days go by, and I notice Jack starts getting bigger again. I'm going to call him Jack for short. Um, I'm going to call it problem number two. Problem one, number one was he was getting larger. Problem number two is he's getting larger. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just confounded. I have no idea what's happening. And then what I notice as I look around the cage, um, no longer.
longer are there six hamsters? There's four hamsters. Okay, four, four of the baby hamsters. Now, as disturbing as that sounds, let's stay focused here. Jack is gaining weight. So this is a problem. You know, pet stores, because there's no real hamster expert. And one tells me you gotta separate the babies, the other one tells me you cannot separate the babies because they gotta feed off the mother. As I'm trying to figure this out, I notice another baby has disappeared. The other three that are alive aren't looking so good. Okay? They eventually die, and Jack decides not to eat them. I guess he preferred the taste of live hamster. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, I'm, I'm beyond my, my selfish desire to have a record-setting, you know, world champion hamster. I'm, I'm just worried about Jack. He just needs four, four babies. <laughs> so, um, a couple days goes by, and um, now, th this next thing I'm going to call problem number three, which is the worst problem of them all. And I come into my room where Jack was staying, and we had this cage. I had this cage. It was like a wire cage. Um, and the top shelf of the cage, I had gotten him a ladder. If you wanted to get up there, you could have climbed up the ladder. I'm sorry. Okay. So what he had done is, is climbed up the back of the cage. Now, the top shelf is kind of against the back, so it's like there's no space there. There's maybe like an eighth inch. He had somehow gotten his head through this back, like the shelf. So the sh when I walked in, I saw like the shelf was at his neck. And he had somehow turned himself around, so he was facing me. And he was dead. It was sad. You know, but I, I didn't know what to do. I don't know what to do with a dead hamster. So I decided that, I mean, he's, he's over, he's large at this point, because he is still eating the babies. So I decided to flush him down the toilet. <laughs> Which you might think, like, not the best idea. But if you think about how Jack Dawson from Titanic kind of went down, for those of you who remember, you know, my Jack went down in a similar way, just spinning and smelling like scrubbing bubbles. Thank you.